Up till now we have already worked on 2D scenes and in this video I will be explaining how you can create a 3D scene. So first thing we need to do is just writing these three lines. As you can suspect this part is the only thing that changes from a 2D scene to a 3D scene. After that we will define our variables as always and try to animate them using some functions. So to start creating a plot we need to first define our axis. This time as we are creating a 3D scene we will create a 3D axis. And to add numbers to it we will add coordinates. This is the function that we have used so far to add numbers to a 2D axis. And let me start the rendering process and keep on talking about it. So after that we um, create our axis. This is the create animation. Just like in 2D we are creating our axis. So basically when we first create a scene the angles that we are viewing our scene is phi equals to 0 and theta equals to minus 90. This means that if we want to see our axis from a different angle we need to change these two or three angles to view our axis from a different angle. So first thing I did here is just creating our axis. So as the scene is defined as phi equals to 0 and theta equals to 90, you can see how our axis looks right now. And after that I have created a camera animation. You can see how the angles changes in 3 seconds using this notation. So the function we use to change angles is the move camera function. And after that I have created a self ambient camera rotation which moves the camera in positive direction slowly and I have set this rate using the rate equals to 15 times degrees. You can also define the same thing using the pi. These pi and degrees function degree objects embedded in Menim so that we can use it easily. So to use the ambient camera rotation function we need to define two, thing, two things basically and the first one is uh, how many degrees that, will, that we will rotate per second and the second thing is with respect to which axis that we are trying to rotate our axis. So I wanted to rotate my camera with a rate of 15 degrees per second and about the theta. And then I have wanted to our scene to wait for 5 seconds and through this passing time as you can see the scene continues to rotate around theta. So we have started this camera rotation so we need to stop it also to stop the camera rotation. So after that I have moved the camera to a different angle using again the same, same function which is move the camera. So the last thing that we will see in this example is another variable of move camera function. If you set a zoom value which is one at the first place then you can change it to any value that you want. So basically this zoom function um, zooms in when you input a bigger number than one and zooms out when you input a smaller number than one. So as you can see in the final part of our scene the axis just shrinks down which means that we have zoomed out. So far we have learned how we can um, create a 3D scene, how we can create an axis and we have learned how we can change the angles and how we can zoom in or out in a scene. So now we want to create some plot on the axis that we have created previously. So Using the same two functions I have created a 3D scene and added numbers to it. So now we want to create a curve and a surface. So let's start by creating our surface first. To do that we can use the embedded function in menu which is surface and after that we need to define two variables. While defining these two variables we need to use the lambda notation and after that we put uh, our surface into our axis. So we say axis that coordinate to point. So this star basically tells to Python that this whole object is just one thing. So 
this is just a notation and you can use this directly and after that we say np.array and we input our function for x direction i have inputted the parameter u and for y direction i have inputted the parameter v and for the z direction i have inputted a combination of these two variables after that you can set a resolution but increasing this resolution just increases the rendering time so after that i have defined a u range and v range this just means that our surface will be created from minus 3 to 3 in both directions let me start rendering this scene and let's see how it will turn out as you can see our surface is created on our axis and it starts from minus 3 and ends at 3 in both directions after that i have created a parametric curve using two functions these two functions does totally the same thing but what changes is that the first one is more similar to the 2d functions that we have used and this second one is the parametric function function is just more similar to creating a surface so what i would prefer is just creating a 3d scene is the second one it is pretty similar with the surface function so we again define our parametric function using lambda t this variable's name are pretty important because if you change this u and v or t as different things the program will doesn't respond so we always use u and v in a while creating a surface and we use t while creating a parametric function after that i have defined identically our um, parametric fun function in our axis using the coordinate to point function again and i have used the star to tell python that this whole typo is just a one thing and after that i have set the color of our parametric function to yellow and set the t range from minus 2 pi to 2 pi and as you can see these two functions just does the same thing but i would prefer the second one actually so after this after these three parts i have just moved the camera and created these objects that we have created and the result is as you can see in the right side right now so this is the end of the video and thank you so much for watching